Hello, welcome back. I'm going to uh, take you through a second example here on the student's t-test here. Okay, um, looking at another example here. Manager of a restaurant chain uh, goes to a seafood wholesaler and inspects a large catch over of over 50,000 prawns. Knowing that the population is normally distributed, you will buy the catch if the mean weight exceeds 55 grams per prawn. Okay. Um, a random sample of 60 prawns is taken. The sample mean weight is 56.2 grams with standard deviation of 4.2 grams. Conduct, conduct a one-tailed hypothesis test, which would be one of these two, because this is the two-tailed with significance level uh, at 0 0.05, which is 5%. Determine whether the manager should purchase the catch. So step one, null hypothesis. So our null hypothesis in this case is going to be that the HO, oops, HO is the mean weight is 55 grams okay per prawn okay and then our al alternative hypothesis h1 is going to be that the mean weight is more than 55 grams per pawn okay because that's when we want to that's when the um that's when he says he wants to buy the catch if it's more than 55 grams. So that's what we got. We want to know when it's what our probability is that it's going to be more than 55 grams per per prawn. Okay. So there's our two hypotheses. Um, state the significance level. We they told us here that it is 0 0.05, right? Okay. So I'm going to put in 0 0.05 for this part down here. Uh, calculate the value of the test statistic. We will. So we'll say that the test statistic is, so we'll leave ourselves a spot here to fill in that blank after we calculate. Calculate the p-value. Now we got to figure out which one of these we want, okay? So the, the null hypothesis is that it's 55 grams. We want to know when our mean is more than the null hypothesis mean. So we want to pick this one here. We want to know when is it going to be greater than the um let's see when it's going to be greater than the 55 okay so uh now it's calculator time so we go into stat we're going to go over to test because and if you forget where it is it says students t test so you know this test so there's our t test push enter again we have gotten the statistics we don't we don't have the raw data. There is another example where there, there are some examples where you put the raw data in. Okay. Um, but we want the stats. So this is the, the, like these three here are what we found. Okay. So this one's going to be the advertised one. So it says known that the population is normally distributed and the mean weight. Let's see. You will buy the catch if the mean weight exceeds 55 grams per prawn. So we're going to do 55 here. And then we found that of in our sample that the fifth that was the mean weight was 56.2, right? And our standard deviation was 4.2. And the number of trials was let's see there was 60 trials because we had 60 um, different 60 different prawns that we measured or that whoever did this measured okay so we want to know when we're going to be greater than greater than our um, our null mean right so we basically want to know when we're greater than 55 which is this one up here okay so we go down here to calculate and we cross our fingers okay originally when I had that I my numbers were off a little bit because I we selected this but I did not push enter so you got to select that and push enter and then that box will go away and then it will go there 
Well, now behind it over there. And now we do calculate, and now it should give us the. Oh no, error domain. Hold on a second. All right, when I went when I went back in, it took out somehow it took out my standard deviation. So 4.2. Everything else should be good here because we're already on that one. Now we should be good. There we go. Okay, so our t uh, our test statistic is 2.21. 2.21. Okay, and then our p-value is 0 0.015. So our p-value is, so we got 0 0.015. Is that less than or equal to 0 0.05? Okay, so it says right here, reject HO if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. And our p-value is, so that means that we are going to reject HO, which means that the mean weight is going to be 55 grams it's actually going to be more than 55 grams per prawn so that means that um, we conclude that the mean weight is exceeds 55 grams per prawn so the manager should purchase the catch okay <clears throat> okay so there's another example of a t-test okay if you have any questions at all on this please feel free to ask thanks